Hi, this is April. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to try out the Lumix G100's electronic stabilization set to high. It's a significantly lighter camera than the Lumix G9, so I want to try this for hiking, but it does not have in-body image stabilization the way the Lumix G9 does. So I want it to see if the electronic stabilization set to high is worth using. The main problem, as you can see, it crops in significantly when you're at 12 millimeters, which is the widest that the kit lens can go. So to try to counteract this and to test the stability, I am going to use the Leica 8 to 18 set at 8 millimeters. I just want to see if the electronic stabilization is usable. So as you can see at eight millimeters, you get a much wider field of view. And the main thing is I wanted to test this lighter weight camera for hiking to see if the electronic stabilization can hold up at all against the IBIS that's in the G9. K 24 frames per second. This is quite a bit more cropped in. I don't know if this is usable though for vlogging. You can be the judge. The good news is the Lumix cameras have really good 1080 whereas the Sony cameras have pretty bad 1080. 1080 24 frames per second. is 1080p 24 frames per second stability is set to high is this usable footage this is 4k 24 frames per second stability is on high so there we have it how do you think the lumix g100 did with its electronic stabilization turned to high let me know what you think down in the comments below Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.